Anyone who's been to Idaho knows of its stunning landscapes and wildlife. But in the past, mining companies left some areas in desperate need of repair, including the East Fork, the South Fork, of the Salmon River. Midas Gold, a modern environmentally driven mining company, is in the permitting stages to restore the area. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's talk a little bit about the history of this stretch of the Salmon River and the condition it's in today. In the early 1900s, miners first came to Stibnite Mining District. It's about 40 miles east of McCall, Idaho. It became one of the top producing gold, antimony, and tungsten mines in the U.S. During World War II and the Korean War, it produced critical minerals needed for the war effort. Most of the mining that occurred at Stibnite took place long before environmental regulations existed. So when the wars were over and the last companies had packed up, the mine site was left in a state of disrepair. Unfortunately, the issues the site and the river face are only getting worse. Currently, the river dumps into the abandoned Yellow Pine Pit. This mine pit has prevented salmon from swimming upstream to their native spawning grounds for over 80 years. The pit is also filling up with sediment from the failed dam at Blowout Creek. Soon, it will be full and allow more sediment to continue downstream. Too much sediment in the river clogs fish's gills and makes it harder for them to spawn, find food, and fight diseases. And that's only part of the problem. There are elevated levels of arsenic and antimony because of the millions of tons of mine tailings that were dumped in unlined facilities in and alongside Meadow Creek, a tributary to the river. Anytime there is rain or snow, metals could potentially make their way into the river and groundwater, which is dangerous for wildlife that relies on the river. The greatest danger to this area, however, is to continue to do nothing. Midas Gold is dedicated to using modern mining as a tool to rehabilitate the area at its own cost, not the taxpayers. Before operations begin, Midas Gold will reconnect the salmon to their native spawning area. They will also reduce sediment from entering the river by repairing the impacts of the failed dam at Blowout Creek. Work to restore the site has already begun. Midas Gold planted over 50,000 trees and removed more than 30 tons of scrap metal left by previous miners. But today, Midas Gold must secure 50 permits and approvals from more than 11 state and federal agencies and have the funding set aside for restoration of the site before the project can move forward. In pursuit of safer and more environmentally conscious methods, Midas Gold's plan goes above and beyond federal requirements. Last but not least, Midas Gold is made up of Idahoans that are tired of watching our state deteriorate because of past mistakes. It is time for action, and Midas Gold is ready to restore the East Fork of the South Fork of the Salmon River. Go to MidasGoldIdaho.com to find out more.